Hey everybody, Rosemato here, and welcome to part 18 of my Danganronpa, another Let's Play. So, we are getting into the fifth and what I assume is going to be the final class trial. As we know with Danganronpa, like, class 5 or chapter 5 class trials is they tend to be pretty good. Uh, sometimes amazing. And there's always, like, a big twist at the end of them. So, I'm expecting, like, a big reveal. And there's a lot going on, you know, with, like, the murder of Yamato Kisaragi after, like, just being introduced, his relation to the Kisaragi Foundation, like, what is Kurokawa's um, connection to it. Hopefully that'll all be revealed uh, by the end of this class trial, so let's go ahead, let's get into it. Now, I give my thoughts at the beginning of the class trial who I think the culprit is going to be. And I really don't know in this case, because... Everything points to Kurokawa, but it's like Rei is saying. It's too obvious. It, like, everything's pointing at her. The fact that she was standing over the body with a clean blade. Uh, she doesn't have an alibi. Everybody else was together. Now, the thing is, Kinjo wasn't there. And I'm having a thing. I'm going to guess there's going to be some, like, maybe some body swapping. There's a thing with the laboratory with the corpses being there. That might have something to do with it. Um, I'm gonna say maybe Kinjo has something to do with this. I don't know how exactly, but the thing is, like, he was the other one that nobody saw until, like, Turiya went to go check up on Kinjo after we found the body. It just, it seems too obvious to be Kurokawa, but maybe the game's playing us to make her seem like such an obvious choice that we're gonna assume it couldn't possibly be her, and then maybe it does end up being her. I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead, let's check out the truth bullets before we begin the class trial. So the victim is Yamato Kisaragi. Estimated time of death was approximately 8.30 a.m. The cause of death is shock due to a laceration in the groove, a huge hole in his chest. No other injuries were found. Chest hole. The victim Kisaragi suffered serious injuries such that his chest was completely blown away, revealing the entire inside of his body. The Monokuma file also mentions that this wound was the direct cause of death. However, there are no other noticeable traumas. What kind of thing could, could destroy only this part without touching any others? Clean kitchen knife, the knife Kurokawa was holding when the body was found. At first, I thought Kurokawa might have hurt Kisaragi with the knife, but the Monokuma file did not mention any wounds by knife. And the knife itself was clean, with no blood on it. Was it just for distraction? Even so, why was Kurokawa holding a knife? Bloody cart, the cart from the lab was left at the scene of the incident covered in blood. The fact that the cart was covered in blood means it may have, been it may have carried a corpse, but if you could enter the record room from the ballroom, could you bring this cart upstairs? It is still full of mysteries. Kisaragi's handbook. Kisaragi, Kisaragi's handbook was handed over from Kurokawa. A handbook that Kisaragi had. It was mostly blank, but there was a number 0430 written on one page. What is the purpose of the number? There's a high probability, but it's a guess that this is the password to the door to the record room. But why did Kurokawa give this to us? I'm gonna guess it's more than just a password. Maybe it's like 0430, April 30th? Um, maybe there's something to a date. Maybe it's a date. Everyone's alibi. Makaru clearly states the only one who could commit the crime is Kurokawa in this case. The reason is from the time Kisaragi, the victim, last appeared in front of us. Except for Kurokawa, the others had been with us all the way until the body was found. Is Kurokawa really the culprit? Entrance of the record room. It is true that only me and Makaru know this, but there are rules other than just the password in the record room. Only one person can enter. When there is already someone inside, the door won't open. If two people go in at the same time, a bulkhead door closes the room. Because of these rules, is the record room itself heavily involved in the case, or... Ballroom white cloth, you cannot enter the record room unless you know the password. However, the emergency exit in the back was strangely connected to the dance hall of the ballroom. The problem is that there was a door on the high railing as it was one floor higher. Still, someone had hung a white cloth to allow access. It must be the culprit's doing, but haven't I seen this cloth somewhere else? Laboratory meat. Mentioned by Akane, there was someone's chunk of flesh around the lab. According to Makaru, it's presumed to belong to the victim, Kisaragi. The shape is squeezed beyond recognition, and bloodstains from the flesh are connected to the hallway corridor. Could the bloodstains in the hallway on the fifth floor really be this piece of flesh? Anesthetic gas, a gas grenade that has been used in the laboratory. It is called anesthetic gas, and there's a possibility the victim was neutralized rather than killed immediately. These kinds of things must come from the arsenal. 
Kisaraki's dying message. There's a dying message written in blood on the laboratory floor. The victim Kisaraki must have written it with all his might. It is written Makako, but for most of us who know what the name refers to, even if it's true, would the criminal just leave the dying message that pointed out their name so openly and leave it behind? And the last one, Kurokawa's room. Was open for some reason. Also, the bed sheets were missing inside. I thought I'd seen the white cloth tied to the railing of the ballroom somewhere, but it's highly likely it's from her room. Not to mention, why would Kurokawa's sheets be gone? Alright, so there we go. That's all of the uh, truth bullets taken care of. Let's go ahead. Let's start this class trial. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, I don't completely bungle this one. Now then, let's start with a brief explanation of the class trial. Blah, 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 we all know this, we, we've done this four times before, uh, just in this game alone. <laughs> How many class trials have I done, right? I guess, you know, if you go three, I've done like, well, this'll be my, like my 20th one, right? If I've played all the other games. Now, you may start with the culprit's Kurokawa. Nothing more to see here. Oh, you start already. Well, it doesn't matter. Please discuss things carefully. Wait a minute, Turia. We've only just started. It's just the beginning and nothing more, right? Before, Makara was the first to investigate, but now how can you prove it? It's a class trial. The culprit's still Kurokawa. You all know that, don't you? Uh, at the time, Yuki and Makaru found the body. Kurokawa was, was bloody at the scene. Besides, everyone except Kurokawa were together. Tori couldn't calm down. The thing is, if Kinjo is actually the culprit somehow, uh, and we pin him, does he just get killed from where he is? Like, do we bring him in and kill him? <laughs> Tori couldn't calm down a little. As Maeda kun said, we're just starting. Wouldn't it be better to sort things out? No, I'm perfectly calm right now. This is different from before. I mean, it's a conclusion after a thorough analysis, not a call out of a desire to escape from reality. Of course, I also think Makako-chan's the most suspicious, but... Calm your bullshit. It looks exactly the same as before, so stop and let's begin the discussion. What do you mean? Isn't Kurokawa the culprit? Of course, I also say, uh, see Kurokawa as the main suspect, but currently Tori is being a bit too forward. It's a requirement to have at least a discussion. For now, it would be better to convince Turiya. I'm gonna guess that he's gonna say something about he was standing over her with a- or she was standing over him with a knife and then we can point out the knife. Look, Tori couldn't calm down. I'm not done talking. She was bloodied at the scene. Okay, so she was. She was bloodied at the scene. I mean, there's even more evidence than this. I bet he's gonna probably- oh, I have- oh, I've got infinite. Nice, stupid. Your life is at stake. Can't you take responsibility for it? Thankfully, because I bought that thing. Uh, the skill. It's because you don't need to see it. Besides, there's more evidence that you can't dismiss. Have you forgotten? Just gonna bring up the knife. Okay, Kuroko was holding a kitchen knife. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Ah, uh, I got too ahead of myself. This isn't it. I feel like something's wrong. I can't deny Kuroko was suspicious. It's all true she was holding a kitchen knife. But is Kuroko really the culprit? There's an error in Turi's claims, so that's what I need to point out. That's my bad. That's my bad. I was so sure that I was on the right path. I should have just let it finish, but I got impatient. I guess I could have just skipped it, right? If you're not a culprit, why are you holding a knife? Okay, there we go. There we go. I just needed to wait a little bit. I was on the right path with it. I just picked the wrong thing. Not a good start, that, like, from the beginning. The very first one, which was quite easy. I, I'm missing a heart already. Turiya, just because she was holding a knife doesn't mean that they're the culprit. What are you talking about? No matter how you look at it, she was carrying a weapon. I'm not sure you can even cook in there. <laughs> Let her cook. <laughs> no, you can tell by looking at the body of Kisaragi, the victim of this case. Kisaragi wasn't stabbed to death by this knife. It's also specified in the Monokuma file. There were no special wounds other than a hole in his chest. 
Right, and crucially, there was not a drop of blood on the knife. No sign of stabbing anyone. That's true. I'm sorry for forcing this, but then what was the uh, what was the kitchen knife for? Unless she was set up in a murder? Like the anesthetic gas, right? She could have been knocked out too and then just put in front of the body and someone just gave her the knife and just put her- and then she like came to around the same time that like- I- I mean for that to happen in such a short amount of time, um, right? Because it was just a couple of minutes between when, um, Yamato went to the records room and then we showed up. I won't deny that issue with you. I admit Kurokawa is suspicious to the end, but that doesn't mean you can just blindly conclude she's the culprit. I know. I'm sorry. Without knowing, I let my habit run wild again. I didn't grow at all. I don't think I did. No, it's because we all understand. Are you done now? Then let's start with the case. Wait. Are you okay for one minute before that? What else? Well, that thing. That one next to Monokuma? What is that? Why is Kisaragi's portrait over there? And what is that over? Is, is that like the Kisaragi Foundation? Like, what's that thing? Like, it's not an X. Oh, this? Well, don't mind it. I couldn't help it because there wasn't a seat space for him. A seat. Kisaragi-kun was originally a person who never entered a class trial room, so he had a reserved seat. Hey, don't talk about anything that has nothing to do with the trial. Come on, start the discussion. I mean, we did start talking about them again and again. We can't help it. I'm not saying that class trial- I'm not saying class trials are top priority right now, since the case hasn't been sorted out, right? Let's get started. That's okay. First, the victim in this case, Kisaragi. The incident happened this morning. We, everyone was there except Bikako-chan. And Kincho. At that moment, Kisaragi's behavior suddenly became strange, and he ran to the fifth floor looking for Kurokawa. It was as if he had become a different person. What was Kisaraki's true identity? That's fine and all. It doesn't have anything to do with this case. I would like to know, but we can't because he's dead. <laughs> so let's just forget about it. I love how blunt she is. In any case, we sensed something strange was happening and hurried to the fifth floor to chase after Kisaraki. Only then. The fifth floor was already bloody. Something already happened. At that time, Akaro gave instructions to me and Akane, didn't she? Uh, I was to go check Kinjo and Akane to check out the bloodstains in the lab. Yeah, and besides Kinjo, we were able to get some crucial clues from the lab, including that there was nothing wrong with him. Crucial clues? What was in the lab? I wonder if Makaru has something to do with this as well. I know Taria said that kind of offhand. And it could just be because, like, Kinjo is out of the picture. She's taking control because she's a professor. That's what she does, but... Uh, whenever there's- uh, and that happens in usually like in the final chapter or towards the end when like a character who might have been a little bit more off- like standoffish is kind of like finally decides like okay I'm gonna work together with everybody so that's not too far out there but there's something nagging me about her I don't know that's for later let's organize the case first first Maeda and I tried to enter the bloodstained record room but we could not open the door Sure enough, a password was required to enter the record room. That's right, you told me when we were investigating the fifth floor. However, it seemed certain that something had happened in the records room, and while we were thinking about what to do, Makaro took me to the ballroom. And the fact that she just remembered, like, wait a minute, there was this, this door that, like, I didn't even know about. That she just suddenly was like, wait a minute, this random door from the ballroom might just happen to lead to the fifth floor. Surprisingly, the white cloth in the ballroom was connected to the second floor, and the door you see when you hold a cloth and go up was directly connected to the back door of the records room. When Tyra and I were about to enter the record room, we were told to go back to the ballroom. I wondered if the ballroom and record room were connected somehow. So in the end, the cloth was tied up by the culprit, right? That's right. This means the culprit had to do the same to get into the record room. The culprit must not have known the password either. It's only natural, isn't it? It's a facility that was originally in this building, and we don't know anything about the facility, including the killer. Uh, I thought so too, but Makaru said that the culprit might know the password. Let's talk about it later, because it's important, but not now. Anyway, when we entered the room through the ballroom, Yamato Kisaragi was dead. And in front of the dead Yamato Kisaragi, that woman, Mikako Kurokawa, was standing there, covered in blood. For now, this is the overview of the case. Yeah, everyone except for Mikako-chan. 
That's right. I'm sorry. I didn't even want to discuss it earlier, and I'm sorry, but no matter how I look at it, no one else can commit the crime other than Kurokawa. However, if the criminal fails to deceive us in the class trial in their own way, they'll be put to death. Is it really that easy to commit a crime? It's the fact that it, everything just seems so, yeah, like the fact her door was open and we just happened to see that there was no sheet. She was standing over the body um, with a knife. It, it's just, it's too clean. Is there some kind of trick we don't know about? Come to think of it, didn't you mention that Makaro found a crucial clue a while ago? What was wrong with the laboratory? It's an important clue, but it's hard to figure out the whole case with that alone. What I found in the lab, yeah, that's what we're discussing now. When I went to check it out after hearing it from Akane, that was the, the laboratory meat, which is a disgusting combination of words. <laughs> Makaro, you're talking about the piece of bloody flesh that was in the lab. Flesh? Human flesh? Yeah, I heard from Akane, so I went to check it out myself. That flesh was probably from Kisaraki's chest. Moreover, Turiya, you should have entered the laboratory before the announcement went off. Uh, no, that's- I didn't see it. I was in a hurry. How do you miss a chunk of flesh right by the door? Is that so? I was also surprised when I first found it. The fact Kisaragi-kun's flesh was in there meant that Kisaragi-kun was killed in the laboratory, right? That's it? I mean, he wasn't murdered in the record room? But even if that's the case, isn't it impossible for anyone other than Kurokawa to commit the crime? Well, that's not the case, but the place where he was killed could be a very important clue. If you don't know who the culprit is, it's silly. Hey, Turiya, do you seem a bit dissatisfied? You're so full of yourself just because I decided to cooperate with you, aren't you? <laughs> no, it's not like that. I'm sorry, I'll stay quiet. In the end, no matter what I say, it comes with the conclusion that it's impossible to commit the crime except for Kurokawa, but I can't conclude without knowing anything at all like this. The most- uh, the biggest obstacle in this case is- Let's talk about that with everyone. Alright, this time I will make sure to read through the whole thing and not jump to conclusions. Okay, we've got quite a few here. Wow, alright. Even if we were trying to organize the case, the result wouldn't be any different. Even if Kisaragi was killed in the lab, only Kurokawa could commit the crime. If there is someone who could commit the crime except for this woman. But after Kisaragi couldn't left the dining hall until his body was found. Uh, we are always together, we were. <laughs> I think that's a little bit of a weird room. Akana and I went out for a bit, but we came back in a hurry. Maybe I would have to agree with her, like, everybody's alibis. Well, we arrived on the fifth floor. Something already happened, right? Okay, so something already happened. Hold on, we need to discuss this in further detail. Okay, I'm gonna try agreeing with the everybody's alibi thing. Indeed, the biggest obstacle is Kurokawa. As Turiya said, could it be decided that Kurokawa is the culprit? We have to do everything we can. Let's think about what each of us was doing when the incident occurred. All right, I'm gonna try that and see if that that works. There we go. As Akane said, no matter what the clues are, it can't be denied we were together at the time of the incident. We'll have to work this out in order to see the truth. Wait a minute, why is the story suddenly going towards the directions of except for Kurokawa, there's a culprit among us? If the alibis are perfect, doesn't common sense say Kurokawa's the culprit? Why is the culprit Kurokawa gradually moving away from the suspect list? Why? Because frankly, it's too easy if Makako Kurokawa wins. It's almost like someone's trying to blame Makako Kurokawa for the charges instead. And this isn't a situation with, like, Satsuki, where she was like, I did it, it was me, and then it turned out to be correct. I'm also in agreement. Something's fishy. It's a class trial where your life is lost if you make one single mistake. You need to think more if you're not 100% sure. We're being too blunt. Aren't you just scared? Maida? Makaru? Normally, you trusted the clues pointing to the culprit and gave the answer. What are you afraid of to be so careful this time? It's the alibis and the blood. Besides, there's even evidence about the bed sheet, so anyone can tell the culprit is... 
Don't be such a stick in the mode. <laughs> in the mod. It's so full of complications. Do you want to annoy me right now? Or what? Are you the killer? You can't do that. Don't joke like that. Hey, Atori-kun, just the bedsheet? What do you mean by that? Oh, right. Akai doesn't know about this. The bedsheets, of course. That was the clue Toria gave us at the end of the investigation. The place where Toria took us was... Just before the investigation was over, Toria called Makaru and me in a hurry and took us somewhere. The place Toria took us was Kurokawa's room. Makako-chan's room? Yes, I stopped by my room before, uh, before the class trial started. I was getting impatient. I noticed Kurokawa's room was wide open. So I looked inside for a moment. Kurokawa's room didn't have any bedsheets. What? Oh, she finally spoke. You're surprised. Why would you be? And so suddenly... You haven't said anything, it just stood there. What's this all of a sudden? Nothing, no. Well, we know the bedsheets are gone, but what does that mean? Akane, there was a white cloth hanging from the second floor of the ballroom. Don't you think you've seen it somewhere? I think I saw... Oh, maybe the cloth was the bedsheet from our rooms. Yeah, it's probably the bedsheet from Kurokawa's room. But that's really conclusive evidence, isn't it? Like Makako-chan's reaction a while ago. At this point, even I can't stop thinking of it now. No, I think it's more likely Makako Kurokawa is not the killer. Huh? Is there a reason? Fools, just think about it. Let's say the woman used the bedsheet and hung it in the ballroom. Then, even if she hides that fact, she leaves the door wide open until time runs out? Don't you think that's weird? That may have been because the incident took place in such a short time. She may have forgotten it. Forget it. Besides, that's the only reason we have. When I briefly looked around her dormitory before chasing Yamato Kisaragi, there was no sign the door to Makako Kurokawa's room was open. I didn't look closely, but the door from the dormitory to the second side in Kurokawa's room goes in a straight line, so you can see it without getting close. As you said, you claimed the door was wide open, right? Uh, actually, when I took you and Maeda, it was wide open. Yes, I saw it. It's likely... It's like trying to show that the door was wide open. Wait a minute, then Kurokawa couldn't have opened the door. If she came back and opened the door right after we chased Kisaraki, we would inevitably have run into each other. So, that's what I'm saying. So it's somebody who is able to open the door. Like, who could do that except maybe Monokuma? Somebody with a master key? Because only, only the person in the room would be able to open it. Or if they give permission to someone. In short, the door to Makako Kurokawa's room was opened. It sounds like it was one of us. Then you mean the person is the culprit? That's very likely. Using Mikako Kurokawa's bedsheet for the crime, they intentionally left the door open as if to show us. Isn't it plausible if their goal is to cover up all the charges against uh, Mikako Kurokawa? Actually, we kept doubting Kurokawa till the end. No, but it's just a pendulum. Even if there's another culprit in our midst, it's impossible to commit a crime other than Kurokawa on an alibi. That's, well... Hey, Mikako. Mikako Kurokawa, would you care to join the discussion now? Actually, hearing your testimony is the most important thing. You didn't say a word during the investigation. What you went through at the time of the incident holds the key to this case. Sorry, I do not know. Mikako-chan. Damn it, Kurokawa, are you the culprit? A victim? I'm starting to get confused. Hey, I wish you couldn't say something like this, but is there a possibility that she killed him, as in the case of Kobushikawa-kun a while ago, was made into a self-made play? Unfortunately, Yamato Kisaragi was unable to commit a series of crimes, so it's unreasonable to start by opening the door to the private room we just talked about a while ago. Someone is trying to cover up the charges against Kurokawa. I understand, everybody has an alibi, so it becomes impossible to commit a crime. How did they open Mikako-chan's room in the first place? Did they even steal the key? Guys, doesn't the alibi get complicated? Or make things complicated? Why don't we discuss the method of the crime, assuming the culprit is a 7th person A? 7th person A? I don't think we're going to progress if we ever continue with the alibis like this. Let's assume that there's a person named A who can roam freely other than us. Let's talk about the method of the crime first. I'm in favor, too. I'm ashamed a talented person such as me is not sure about this at all. Yeah, I think that would be nice, too. Come to think of it, I think I heard a similar thing from Mikako-chan last time, too. 
approaching from the other side of the case based on the testimony that's already been given without considering the truth or falsehood of a testimony. Did you remember all of that? Yeah, we can't give up just because we're stuck in one place. Let's designate a hypothetical person who could commit a crime. It's, it's, it's reminding me of Umineko with like the 19th person, mysterious 19th person, or flipping the chessboard around, right? Change our way of thinking. Discuss the method of crime assuming that person's pattern. Alright, if there's a person A who can freely roam, preparing for a crime wouldn't be difficult. Killing Yamato Kisaragi. To put the blame on Mikako Kurokawa is no easy feat. They killed Kisaragi first, then spilled blood in the hallway, right? And somehow they stole Mikako-chan's bedsheet. They've been prepared a way to get the record, uh, get to the record room from the dance hall. Mikako Kurokawa was really taken advantage of. By some means. Ooh, let's say an aesthetic. Oh, I did it again! Oh, I got it! I did it, okay. I was like, oh no, there were still so many things that needed to be said. But I've been saying this, like, I bet she was knocked out. Yes, alright. That actually worked out for me. But the thing is, how does that work with, like, the timing of everything? Unless somehow maybe we got knocked out too, and our, like, our idea of time is off, but... It said clearly in the Monokuma file that, like, 8.30 a.m., around 8.30 a.m. Makaru, by some means, I thought about it. Wouldn't it be possible if they used that? The anesthetic gas, I mean. Anesthetic? What's that? Akane, didn't you see it when you went to the lab? A strange can. The same thing that was rolling around, like, last time. Oh my god, Turi and Akane are, like, two of the most... Like, how do they how do they miss these things? I heard it from Akaru and thought, it's gotta be the anesthetic gas. It sprays compressed anesthetic gas in form of a grenade. If you're exposed to it, your body will temporarily become numb and your nerves will not function properly. What? Where did they get such a dangerous thing? Maybe it's from the arsenal in the ballroom, because the arsenal itself was still open after all, since Kinjo also bought a, uh, brought a pistol from there. If you use that anesthetic gas, Kisaragi-kun as well as Mikako-chan could be neutralized. That's true. Still, Kisaragi went looking for Kurokawa, so there's a good chance they were together at that point. After immobilizing the two of them, Kisaragi is the Axis, and if you make Kurokawa splash blood and stand in front of the corpse, in theory, it would be like this case. It, it's not about fainting, it's just paralyzing, but if that's true, wouldn't Kurokawa see the culprit? That's true, but if you use a tool that could hide your identity, it's not a problem at all. Still, it's a bit strange that Kurokawa doesn't tell us what happened to her, but... Wait a second, I have a problem other than this. Once you use the anesthetic gas, you mean moving two people from the laboratory to the record room, right? Even if there's only one, isn't it difficult to move two people by yourself? That's gotta be where the cart comes in. I agree as well. Besides, in that short time before we came up... The anesthetic gas was used in the laboratory. That means two people who were in the lab were brought to the record room, just as it was mentioned. It is difficult. Now here's the thing too, about the record room, where they say if two people enter, if the person's already dead at that point, do they count as a person? Like, does it does it register people by like their heartbeats? Um, by like their heat signal? So maybe that's how two people were able to get into the record room, is if one person was already dead at this point. Uh, it would be a challenge to move two people in a short time. But it won't be impossible. There must be a shortcut to move two people at once. The proof of this is... This one's actually quite easy so far. I'm still waiting- I, we're still very early into it. I'm waiting for, like, it to really get... ...complicated at some point. No, there is an easy way to transport two people by your own. You just need to use the cart. A cart? Haven't you seen it when you search the record room? No, Turiya doesn't notice anything, apparently. But yet he knows when things are moved slightly in um, in the room with all the stuff in the storage room. There was a cart that was supposed to be used to transport something, and that was also bloody. Oh, I remember. Wasn't that originally at the entrance of the lab? That's right. Surprisingly, the place where the anesthetic gas was supposed to be deployed was also the laboratory. 
I can think of only one possibility that the cart in the lab got bloodstained after being used through the records. In order to move Kisaragi and Kurokawa. That's right. If you use the cart to transport it, you could easily move two people without any effort. By raising Kurokawa, including Kisaragi's corpse, they were able to overturn the charges against Kurokawa. Oh. Oh, wow, she's going against me. Okay. Wait, you've been talking like a cool guy for a while now, but can you think that much? What's wrong, Makaru? Is there something wrong with me? If, as you say, the case was so easy, I wouldn't say anything. However, there's a fallacy in your claim. Please don't confuse me with incorrect information. Just stay still. Time to slash teacher words. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy, we got a lot here, too. Okay. I feel like she's gonna be a tough one. The cart was used, sure. But it was originally an object in the laboratory. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on. If they picked two people and carried them to the record room, as you said. Uh, oh my gosh, you said- I don't even know what that said there. Sh their records won't open unless you know the password. Oh, uh... Dying message? No. The handbook. The hand- oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. Do you believe that's possible? Well, I fucked that one up. <laughs> as long as there's evidence of a card, it should be clear it was used for transportation. But Makar's argument's not wrong either. Because it is true the cart was in the record room. Certainly unrealistic to climb onto a bed sheet rope with a cart carrying two people, but the cart was still found in the record room. If so, maybe it's that? I'm gonna try use the evidence I got from someone- Okay, it is. It is that. Okay. We got this. We got this. Wait, Makaru, what if it actually wasn't like that? What? Take a look at this. Do you know what this is? 0430. What is this number? Moreover, this is bloody, right? You don't mean... That's right. It's the password to the record room. Whoa, whoa, what? Maida, did you know the password? No, I'm still not sure. I haven't been able to check if it's the real password for the record room, but I think the chances are high. Where did you find this? When I was investigating, Kurokawa gave it to me. Right, Kurokawa? Please give an answer. Then, Bikako-chan knew the password? Well, I don't know about that, because Kurokawa also found it on Kisaragi's body. Then, there's the possibility the culprit also got the password from Kisaragi. That's right. If you could go in and out of the records room through the front door, wouldn't it be easy to transport two people by cart from the lab to the record room? That's incredible, Maedekun. It seems that the method of the crime has been finally grasped, so now we could only identify the criminal. Is that really true? Eh? What do you mean, Makaru? I kept thinking it was suspicious, but I'm getting more and more suspicious now. What are you talking about? Well... It's that the culprit is talking about someone. Yuki Maeda. Ooh, that's you. Huh? What if- is it me? Am I the one who did it? Oh, what? We're like a half hour in. What the heck? Not even a half hour in. Oh my goodness. This feels so soon. Usually the fifth class trial is like so long. Well, I mean, obviously we're going to continue. I'm not doing that freaking half hour episode. So let's check these truth bullets again, because I, I should do this. So let's go over the stuff that um, have not been mentioned yet. I didn't even think about this, because I've been talking about, like, what if Yuki is the, um, is secretly the mastermind? Or working with the mastermind? Or working with Monokuma? So all these things, I'm like, I was thinking, like, maybe somehow it's Makaru? Maybe Kinjo? I didn't even think about myself. But the thing is, I was with everybody at the time. 
Am I an unreliable narrator? Except everybody is also verifying that I was with them. Is there another version of Yuki? Maybe? Is this- am I an AI? Like, is there another me running around doing this stuff? Anyway. Okay. I think we've mentioned the chest hole already. The clean kitchen knife we've definitely mentioned. The bloody cart. Um, the alibi. The entrance. This feels like this is going to be important. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna save first and then we're gonna, I guess, see if we can conclude this right now. Me? The culprit? Why is it like this all of a sudden? To be honest, I've been suspicious of this guy since the incident. However, since the alibis were so difficult for the case itself, I couldn't make sure with certainty. But, Maeda, revealing that password was a wrong move. You went and dug your own grave. Oh. No, wait. Why do you doubt me? I didn't do anything. If you don't know, I'll tell you. The most difficult issue that bothered me was the most in our alibis was the whereabouts of Mikako Kurokawa, right? Then, Mikako Kurokawa went to investigate the fifth floor before Yamato Kisaragi left the dining hall. But, the one who said that was Maeda. Oh, the rest of- <gasps> Oh my gosh, am I an unreliable narrator? That would be wild if that were the case. Ooh. The rest of us, except for Maeda, have no way of knowing what Makako was doing. Now you get it? Huh? That means you mean Maeda couldn't lie? Now this I would like if I ended up being the bad guy the whole time. I would be like, what? I actually, I don't know if I would like that or not. You gotta, you gotta be really careful if you pull this off, like you, like that it doesn't come out of nowhere. What are you talking about? There's no evidence. If you're the killer, you can manipulate Mikako's whereabouts to your liking. For example, he may have lured Yamato Kisaraki to the fifth floor by falsely claiming she went to the fifth floor. But instead, Mikako might have been caught in another place. Why would I do that? There's no benefit. Then, what's the notebook with the password on it? You got that from Mikako? Don't you think that's too convenient? So, like, we saw this happen. Are the things we- are the things that we actually see happening, those are correct, right? Like, that's not just the game, like, misleading us. This isn't like, if anybody's played Heavy Rain. That game was notorious for doing that, where it was like, kind of like a false- they give you false things happening, or like, the characters doing this or thinking these things, it makes no sense unless they're trying to, um, intentionally mislead the player. If it was handed over to you during the investigation, why didn't you say anything? Uh, that happens a lot in this, where people are like, I found out some information, but I'll tell you at the class trial. And I'm like, why don't you tell people right away? Because then situations like this could happen. I don't know, I just told you the truth. If you're suspicious, you can ask Kurokawa. Is she gonna- is she gonna clam up right now? Mikako-chan, is that true? Mikako? Mikako, please? Are you avoiding our eyes? Kurokawa? Either way, there's something else you're suspicious about. When we all followed Kisaraki to the fifth floor, you were the last one to arrive. In other words, oh my gosh, it'd be hilarious because my character always seems to be the last to go anywhere to like get to places. In other words, even if we've been together all this time, when you finally arrive on the fifth floor, your alibi disappeared for a very short time. To give a proper example, it would be possible to go into Kurokawa's private room from the dormitory in the meantime, install the rope in the ballroom, leave the door open and so on. The whereabouts of the key would need to be discussed in more detail, of course. Oh my goodness, what is happening here? Hold on a minute, isn't it strange that the sheets were hung on the ballroom back there? By the time we got to the fifth floor, it was already after the incident, right? It's not weird at all. If you knew the password, you wouldn't have to go into the records room through the hallway. So in conclusion, the bed sheets in the ballroom was for camouflage. You thought that receiving the password from Mikako Kurokawa would strengthen Mikako's suspicions. It's rather counterproductive to show it here, don't you think? No, no. Why do you think I'm the culprit? I mean, I don't know the password. I really got it from Kurokawa. And as Makaru said, even if you go to the ballroom or leave the door open while you have an alibi for a short time, the crime itself is impossible, because the incident had already happened when we arrived on the fifth floor. Makaru, Maeda's right. No matter how much you prepare to commit a crime, the person who was killed in the end becomes the Blackened. Hatano used that point to become the Blackened instead of Tyra. 
The person who killed last after preparing everything becomes the blackened? I see, Teruya, you did a good job. This could also be a reason Maeda is a, a suspect in reverse. Okay, I feel like I... I what? <laughs> what do you mean? Simply put, they may be accomplices. Maeda, who did the final blow to Kisaragi directly, and Mikako Kurokawa, an accomplice, prepared for the crime. If you do this, the contradiction in this case can also be explained. What? Kurokawa was an accomplice? That can't be. Neither Kurokawa or me have any reason to kill. And even though Kurokawa can act as an accomplice, it's impossible for me to deliver the final blow to Kisaragi. That's right, because we don't even know the weapon yet. Really? There's no law stating you have to be there in order to deliver the final strike. It was the same act with the science lab, when Uhara killed Inori, isn't it? Did- did, like- Did Yamato, like, have a bomb? Like, did he, like, have a bomb in him from the beginning and it just went off at a certain time? Remote killing. Yamato Kisaraki's corpse had no ordinary wound. The huge hole was enough to pierce the entire body. Most likely, the weapon was a bomb. Small bombs! It's like Ubaneko, we got small bomb situation. <laughs> and bombs are relatively optimal for remote killing. There isn't a single reason for the perpetrator to face the victim. Oh my goodness, what is happening here? No way, Maeda-kun is the culprit? But there's no contradiction in Makara's words. I'm the culprit? How did this happen? Because of showing the password? And why is Kurokawa keeping quiet? It will be difficult if this goes on. I'm not the culprit. They vote for me like this. Everyone will die because of an incorrect answer. I have to prove my innocence at whatever cost for everyone. Well, this got interesting. All right. Holy shit, so okay. <laughs> what point's literally gonna be all of the things? If Mikaka Kurokawa is an accomplice, then this case can be explained. Like the culprit is Mikaka Kurokawa, but it was Yuki Maeda who installed the bomb. If she performed all kinds of tricks, and only the final blow is done by, uh, by Maeda, Yuki Maeda's culprit theory is certain possibility. It'd be hilarious if I agreed with that. Transporting them with anesthetic gas on the cart, which we mentioned earlier, is something Kurokawa could do. Then the murder itself was done by Yuki. But why is Maeda-kun? Er, but why Maeda-kun? The motive is unknown, but it's the most likely explanation. If Yuki and Kurokawa are in cahoots, then they know the record to the- the password to the record room, right? Then Yuki just decorated the dance hall as they had just entered the record room. Meanwhile, Kurokawa going in and out of the record room- oh! Uh, that's gonna be the rec room door, but I'm not gonna pick it yet. As for us, he made it look like Mikako Kurokawa was the culprit. He cleverly escapes the charges. A well-crafted trick, but it had a long tail. It can't be. Maeda could. I'm the culprit and Kurokawa's the accomplice? That's ridiculous. Where's the benefit of being an accomplice in the first place? Before that, I have to convince everyone somehow. There must be facts that I know and the others don't about this case. That might be a clue to an objection. Okay, well I know- pretty sure I know what to pick here. So we want to pick the record room door. Let's go you! Wait, that's impossible. It makes no sense to commit the crime in the records room. Eh? What do you mean? If you knew the password, why wouldn't you go in? No, there's one thing you guys don't know about the record room. And once again, information that apparently only I know- well, no. No, um... Ray knows that as well. The records room does not open by simply knowing the password. How then? I learned this when the fifth floor was opened after Satsuki's execution, but there are a few rules regarding the access to the record room. First, only one person can enter the record room. Second, it won't open if someone is already inside. And third, if two or more people enter at the same time, a bulkhead wall comes down. Unless you follow this rule, the door will not open even if you enter the password correctly. What the heck are those? I didn't know those rules. Maida, aren't you lying again to get away from the suspect list? 
No, this is a fact I heard with Makaru when we first investigated the fifth floor. Makaru, I don't think you've forgotten, have you? Ah, what Maeda said is true. I haven't seen it with my own eyes, but it's probably true since Monokuma informed us. As long as those rules exist, it's impossible for Kurokawa to act as an accomplice. No, not just Kurokawa. It's impossible for anyone. As long as Kisaragi is in the record room, entering or leaving the records is impossible. Is this where they're going to bring up, like, but what if it's a dead body? Does that count? Or maybe... Except a murder... Like, there was, like, a, a BDA. So I have to assume it's a person. But what if that... What if that Yamato is, like, not a real person? Then he doesn't count as a person. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that does make sense. Maidakun's not the culprit. Wait, just because you can't enter through the front door of the record room doesn't mean the possibility of a crime disappears, right? You could have entered through the ballroom. If you, can get, if you can't get in when someone's inside, don't you have to do the groundwork first and then put only Kisaragi in there? That's... No, if it becomes that much trouble, the chances are rather low. They'll be caught up in the fifth floor before they finish the job. Is that so? It didn't take that long for us to get to the fifth floor. So, you're saying that all the reasoning we've been doing was just a guess? Well, me becoming the culprit and Kurokawa being the accomplice, I was shocked because it was so sudden. There's no benefit from being an accomplice, and there's no reason for me to kill. What are you talking about, Maeda? The charges against you haven't been resolved yet. What? I obviously heard about the record room with you, but I think you forgot one important detail. Do you not remember? When we were given the explanation, Monokuma made it clear it checks the heart rate! I was right! I could remember that. I did remember Monokuma said that. The heart rate of the person inside in order to limit the entry. Really? So what do you mean? The door does not open when someone is inside. However, the condition doesn't apply if the person inside is a corpse. It's not about distinguishing whether what's in the is human, but a human whose heart is beating. Eh? Then that means... That means Kisaragi was already in the record room. It sounds like you could go in and out by yourself if you know the password. Then... Am I right, Monokuma? Yeah, that's right. Theoretically, more than two people could fit inside the archives if the person inside is already dead, or someone who could have their heart stopped on purpose. Well then, do you have anything to object to, Yuki Maeda? I was skeptical at first, but if the evidence supports it up till this point, the only culprit is Yuki. Is this a lie? Maeda-kun. Maeda-kun, you committed a murder? Wait a minute, wait! No, no, I'm innocent. Makaru, think again. Do I really look like a murderer? Ooh, that's... That's not a good... That's not a good, um, alibi or, like, a good argument. It's like, I don't look like a killer. Look at me, I'm wearing a sweater vest. Look at me straight in the eyes and say it. Maeda, to be honest, I still have a lot of questions, and I'm not convinced, but there's no answer other than this reasoning. As long as my life is at stake, I can't get involved in trivial emotions. At first, I knew Kurokawa had to be the culprit, yet the actions of leaving evidence on your own hands doesn't explain that kind of behavior. It's so funny, like, by Yuki arguing so hard against, like, for Kurokawa, he accidentally kind of, like, turned everybody on him. This, it can't be. No, this isn't... Wait, Kurokawa. Kurokawa, don't stay still and say something. You two are being called an accomplice. You're the only one who can prove my innocence. She's like, uh, I'm okay with being an accomplice. I mean, I don't die. Don't you guys think it's weird? Originally, she spoke a few words, but in this class trial, Kurokawa has been strangely speechless. It's strange she doesn't say a word even when she's being accused of being an accomplice. Well, I do admit that. Yukurokawa, I'm begging you, please. If this ends in my death, it will mess up everything. I'm not the culprit, and you're not an accomplice, so please tell them something. Oh, what's that look? Kurokawa? Stop it, Maeda. I believe it's over now. Eh? What are you talking about, Mikako-chan? I'm sorry for keeping quiet, but I can't deceive you anymore. I will tell you all the truth. Oh, what? Kurokawa, you have a different tone now. It is as you guys guessed. I am the accomplice who caused the murder by helping Yuki Maeda. What? Eh? Huh? What? Kurokawa, what are you talking about? Yuki, you instructed me not to say anything, but it seems there's no escape now. 
It's like she's being taken over by somebody or being like instructed by somebody to say to say that. Wait a minute, he told you not to talk? And you're not using your slow tone as usual. What kind of change is this all of a sudden? I don't know what to say because it's unfair to me, but I'm one of the victims. Yuki did something to me. I felt threatened. I had no choice but to do as Yuki told me. What? Is this because I yelled at you earlier, girl? Come on now. What are you... Nonsense. Maeda kun Threatened by Maeda? Hold on, so that means you were intimidated by Yuki Maeda, so you had no choice but to help in the crime? And you were accused of committing a crime against yourself, and you were used as much as he could? But after our reasoning, when Yuki Maeda was put into a corner, did you mean that you decided to betray Yuki, who seemed to no longer likely to win and tell the truth? Yes, if Yuki loses the trial, I will live, and Yuki will be executed. If that's the case, it's okay, even if you catch the Blacken. If so, why didn't you reveal it in the first place? I was scared. Yuki's terrifying fear was imprinted at me. And everybody just looks over at Yuki and they're like, No, oh, we don't believe that. He is not the- he's not threatening at all. <laughs> I couldn't open my mouth. And at the time of the incident, according to Yuki's plan, I was accused of being the culprit. I thought you wouldn't believe me if I insisted like that. Well, that's for certain. In this situation, if you claim someone else is the culprit, your suspicion would only increase. Now it's all over. Maeda's disappointment is so great he doesn't even have the energy to speak anymore. Let's finish this. Voting time. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. Something is wrong. Mikako-chan's being strange and everything's weird. Can't we think about it again? Let's talk a little more. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm liking this. I, I like the, like, what's going on with Kurokawa? Oh, I can't- whoa! I can't do anything. I love this. Wait a minute, something is wrong. It's not. Now that the accomplice came out, it's fact. You're not convinced, but you have to admit it. Miyuki Maeda is the killer. But what about the weapon? We don't even know what the weapon is. We already ex uh, explained remotely operating a bomb, or something of the sort. Besides, even if it was a real bomb, it'd be difficult to find traces after the explosion. If that's the case, it's possible even you're not Maeda Kun. Even if it's the installation of the bomb, it's impossible to leave your private room wide open. The rest of us didn't know the password. After all, uh, Kurokawa herself admitted to being an accomplice. Stop it, Akane. I, as you guys said, Maeda set up a bomb on the fifth floor yesterday. He detonated that bomb and killed Yamato Kisaragi. This is the truth. I appreciate that Akane is stepping up for me. What do I do here? Can I do anything? I feel like there's like something I'm supposed to do here, but I don't know what it is. Am I supposed to do that thing where it's like I take, I take one of the, uh, like I make my own truth bullet, but I don't remember how to do that. Is it dead? Oh, gosh, I don't remember what to do. Like, I don't remember how to do that. Because I need a new truth bullet, right? So I'm assuming that's what I have to do. Uh-oh. She countered. Wait. I just pressed X. I don't know if she does that automatically. Akane! I love that she's taking over, though. Wait, Maeda Kun's not the killer. How long are you gonna stick up for him? We're not the ones who gave the answer. It's the evidence and reasoning. The evidence is showing the answer. No, you guys said it, didn't you? Maeda Kun was the one who installed the bomb and gave the final blow. But it's impossible for Maeda Kun to install anything. Why? If Maeda Kun did install something, he must have done it the day before the incident, right? But yesterday, the day before the incident, I was on the fifth floor from morning until night. I searched every room as hard as I could. What did you say? Don't lie to us. No, it's not 100% reliable, but it is credible. I also saw Tyra on the fifth floor for a long time yesterday, and she testified that even when the incident with Kinjo occurred, she came late to her private room by herself, and that she was on the fifth floor all day. 
However, nobody came to the fifth floor until I came down after completing the investigation, and there was no sign of anything installed. Which means no one, including Maidakun, did anything on the fifth floor of the day before. They're gonna be like, then it was Akane, she's the one. <laughs> We're just throwing accusations at each other. Oh, am I gonna get to play as Akane now? Because, like, I'm completely, basically, like, I'm out of the game right now. Like, he's not, he's out of it. How can you guarantee that? You may have missed it, or you might have gone from one place for a while. Wrong. Of course, I know my research skills are poor, but I can distinguish to a degree when a person's chest has been messed up. I admit, it's my fault for acknowledging that you were desperately examining the fifth floor yesterday, knowing you did. All day? It's a pity we can't prove it. But apart from this, I want to ask, why? Why are you covering for Yuki Maeda so much? Even though she already admitted that they're an accomplice and he's the culprit. That that's because I don't know. It's strange for Maeda to be the culprit like this. It's because Maeda is the culprit. Tyra, do you have sympathy? That guy threatened me and made me an accomplice. Maeda kun. Maeda kun, calm down and answer me. You didn't do anything wrong, did you? Yuki Maeda, keep your mind up. Calm down and look into my eyes. You didn't do anything wrong. Aw, oh, this is giving me, like, the end of Denkenroba 2 flashbacks, where, like, my character has lost hope, and then... then a certain someone brings them back from the brink. Akane. Yes, look me in the eye and tell me. You are not a culprit. Maedakun didn't do anything the day before the incident. But Kurokawa... Are you the culprit? No. Just tell me that. I... a culprit? I threatened Kurokawa and killed Kisaragi? No, no, I didn't do anything. It's not me who's weird, it's Kurokawa. I... I... I am not the culprit. Maedakun... There's something weird, I swear. I didn't do anything. It's not me who's suspicious. It's Kurokawa. What's going on? As Akane testified, I have no memory of installing anything on the fifth floor, nor of threatening Kurokawa. But it's also true, Kurokawa said she was going to the fifth floor before breakfast this morning. Unless he was killed by some kind of remote method. At this point, even Maeda cannot commit the crime. That's right, maeda is not the culprit. On the contrary, Makako-chan, who suddenly gave a strange testimony with such a frightening face, is very suspicious. I think one of them must be lying, but who would that be? Did the game, like, do- did it do 4D chess where it made someone, like I said at the beginning, where they made her seem so obviously the culprit that she can't be the culprit, but then we think that, and it turns out that she is the culprit? <laughs> Akane, I'm sorry. Thanks to you, I woke up. It's all thanks to you. It's no big deal. No need to apologize. That's ugly, Maeda. Do you even want to kill us and go outside too? What? Because of your usual behavior, the others took care of you and defended you. I hope you like that, but I'm not succumbing to your threats. I'll uncover the truth with everyone and execute you. What? Why are you doing this, Mikako-chan? Tyra, as you said, it looks like Maeda didn't do anything the day before, but... It was at night time that Maida placed the bomb on the fifth floor. What? Maida secretly installed the bomb at night time so he could do the kill the day before the incident. It's a fact that I heard directly from Maida. It's all true. I carried out your reasoning, and the kill itself was done by, by Maida. Kurokawa, you really. If that's true, Yugi is the culprit. Akane only camped on the fifth floor until night time. As Kurokawa said in the end, Yugi really installed the bomb. No, we followed the nighttime rule. Nighttime rule? You know that talking about that's useless, right? We've been discussing nighttime at the class trials many times up until now, but without that coercion, uh, coercion our big alibis are useless. Oh no, maeda -kun. I desperately believe maeda -kun's not the culprit. I've used my head to the limit to defend him. But if we come all this way to this? Akane, it's not me. Well, that didn't last very long. She's like, oh dang, I guess he's the culprit. <laughs> Give up, Maeda. As long as I betrayed you as an accomplice, you can't escape, no matter what you do. I fully acknowledge the crime. Hold on. Mikako Kurokawa, aren't you being a little weird? What? It's too aggressive. Obviously, as you said, you became a victim. You must have been a victim of threats. Right now, the situation between you and Maeda is on the contrary. 
putting pressure on Maeda to the point where you call him a villain. And that's how much my anger towards Maeda turned up. What he did to me? I'll tell you that detail after Maeda's execution. I wonder who will be executed after a bit more time. What? Rei-chan, what do you mean? Mikako Kurokawa's testified a little while ago. During the day, it was impossible to set up the bomb because of Tyra, but... It wasn't during the day, but at night time? That's a lie. Oh, what has she got up her sleeve? What? Kurokawa's side was lying? Maeda, Tyra, and Otori, I must say, I feel pity for you guys. From the day I decided to form a cooperative relationship with you, I've been imitating Kinjo's idea and monitoring you. Oh, Kinjo's idea. Nice. Uh-huh. I put a threat on you every night to check your alibi during nighttime hours, just like he did during Hatano's class trial. And then Maeda kun Maeda kun going to the fifth floor at night? Yes, that's a lie. Yesterday at nighttime, Maeda's room was still. He didn't come out at his room at nighttime. Oh. So what? Why are you lying if you're the accomplice? Well, perhaps the premise for being an accomplice was wrong. That's... you mean... Now, did he... Or sorry, did she also do that to Mikako's room as well? Not an accomplice, an innocent person trying to escape by blaming me. They might be the real culprit. God damn it, so is that the case? Unless there's another heel turn. So the game, like, took everything that Danganronpa players about, like, this seems too obvious, so they can't be the culprit, and they kind of turned it on its head, unless there's something more to it, right? And it turns out that there's, like, a secret person. I'm still thinking Kincho. He can't defend himself. I I'm still thinking in the back of my mind, maybe he's got something to do with it, I'm just saying. I guess- I don't know. Seriously? was the culprit? That's ridiculous. Teruya, at the beginning of the trial, you said that there'd be no one- There was- uh, there would be none other than Kurokawa. Uh, that's- at first I was, you know, jumping over the edge. Wait. Makako-chan. I'm not the culprit. The culprit's Maeda. What a joke. If you'd rather stayed still, you testified he moved at night? I heard it directly from Maeda. Unless someone dressed up like her. Because she's- unless she's been doing a really good job at hiding who she is this whole time. Like, who is this? But the work I did on the door proves it's false. Maeda didn't do anything. That's- that's it. Maeda also knew the thread was actually attached. He also went out and restitched the thread. That's interesting. I put a thread at the exact 3.5 position on those three visiting mills, so you're telling me he knew exactly that and reattached at the exact same place, right? That's right. Maeda calculated the exact height to which the thread was attached and reattached it at 3.5 centimeters. It's a lie to say it's 3.5 centimeters, you fool. To fall into such a simple trap? Are you still lying? Tch. Kurokawa, why? In order to drive me to be the culprit? Noisy, noisy, noisy. I'm not the culprit. Why is this happening? I can't die here. Mikako, you... Is this the Kurokawa Mikako we know? I don't think so. Something's going on. No, I can't be the culprit. Stop, please. Stop asking me. Kurokawa. I... I'm not the killer. I'm not the culprit. I'm not the culprit. I'm not the culprit. Is that all she's gonna be saying over and over again? Okay, so we only have one here. Kisaragi's dying message. I'm not the killer. Is she just gonna say that over and over again? I'm not the killer. Well, okay. Can I just use that against anything? I'm just gonna- no, I can't. Okay, it has to be in yellow. <laughs> I love how I had to wait for the very specific one to be able to, like, counteract it. <laughs> Kurokawa, unfortunately, I have one more piece of evidence that says you are the culprit. No, stop. Stop it. It's this. The dying message. With the letters of Mikako written in blood on the lab. This is the proof that you're the culprit. This seems... This doesn't seem right. 
There was a dying message? If there was such a thing, you should have told us sooner. I'm sorry, I doubted you, Maeda. I couldn't tell, because no matter who you look at, Kurokawa was the only one who could have committed the crime, because there's so much obvious evidence left behind that we thought she wasn't the killer. In that situation, the dying message pointing to Kurokawa gives a rather odd idea that she wasn't the culprit. So, 4D chess? Yeah, but now things have changed. Maeda, who we thought was the culprit, is actually completely impossible of committing the crime. Because Mikako started to say gibberish. In some ways, she might be even more daring and smarter than other criminals, because you left a lot of evidence that anyone could say it was you, so you rather escaped the suspect line very cleverly. It's a reinforced version of what Satsuki came out at the same time the trial started in the previous one, except she wasn't trying to hide it. Isn't that too much of a guess? The only culprit in the world saying they're a culprit and leaving the evidence so openly. It's not a guess. It actually worked. She left the suspect line and waited for our reasoning to reach its peak, so that one innocent victim is pointed out in the end. If you reached this stage, you would self-proclaim to be the accomplice role who became a victim. They didn't let the person who was identified as the culprit to gamble. But this was thanks to him, Maeda, who did nothing wrong, became the culprit. My apologies, Maeda. No, there's no need for apologies. But it's really Kurokawa, the murderer? Unbelievable. Actually, I thought it was too difficult to go back. Mikako Kurokawa also had a good motive. The motive? Think about what motive Monokuma came up with this time. Monokuma introduced the transfer student named Yamato Kisaragi and said he was the motive itself. The reaction of Mikako Kurokawa as soon as she saw the transfer student was unique. Watching that reaction had nothing to do with Yamato Kisaragi. It was Monokuma's reaction. How about that? Now it's you who's cornered, Mikako Kurokawa. I have a lot of things to ask you before you die, so you'd better answer us. Wait! I can't die. If I die, I must not die here. You can't die? You? What do you mean by that? Don't worry about that. It's just the culprit's ramblings. No, no. You can't do this, you guys. I... Blah. What? What's wrong? Not yet. There's a problem left to be solved. What? If I'm the culprit, how did I leave my own door then? Or how did I leave open my own door? Besides, you don't even know the exact material the weapon was made of. This is annoying. Even if we don't know such trivial things, it's already certain you're the culprit. I'm sorry, but that's what we said. Leaving the private room door open, aside from other things? I can't die now. I can't die like this. If you can't solve that mystery, you can't admit that I'm the culprit. Do we have to come all this way here and guess again? Assuming Mikako Kurokawa is the culprit, if we look back at the case, we might find something we've missed. We'd better come up with a complete answer. I'll do my best with my brain going all out. Kurokawa. Ugh. Then, now that the alibi problem has been resolved, the most urgent problem is the murder weapon. Nope, leave it until there. Time's up, it's time to vote. What? We're literally out of time. It seems that this discussion was not over, but unfortunately, this class trial is over. What is this? Are you kidding me? This has never happened before. I'm not kidding, are you? Either way, time is up. Class trial is over. We're closed. Ding, ding, ding. N no, wait, something is wrong. I can't admit this. This is not true. Wait, are we actually... Oh. Oh, wait, what? It's done? There but the, the, there wasn't a... There wasn't the, the talk thing at the end? There wasn't the... No, this isn't it. This is a fake out. This is a fake out. This is such a fake out. Come on now. And also, really, the whole trial is only like an hour long. I call bullshit on this. Especially the fifth class trial? No. Well, anyway, time is over. Uh, time over is time over. It's your own fault for sticking around for so long. <laughs> yeah, especially like by other class trial standards, this was incredibly short. Anyway, did you get the results? Can't do much, so please vote with the switch so far in front of you based on what you've just do so far. Oh yeah, I'm stressed once again. Invalid votes are an immediate punishment. I can't tolerate it, understand? Then as a result of the vote, who becomes the blackened? And the answer, will it be the right answer or the wrong one? Now, what's it gonna be? What? We are not doing this right now, are we? Oh, we are!
Uh oh. It's like he wants she she knows something and he's trying to just wrap things up before she is able to talk anymore. Good, good. The vote ended unanimously. The black and chosen was the correct answer. Mikako Kurokawa. And I know he says he always tells the truth, but what if he's just pinning it on her and it's not true just to like get her out of here so she can't she can't reveal anything. She was the black and who killed the victim, Yamato Kisaragi. They even they're like they voted they're like this doesn't seem right. Correct answer. The culprit who killed Kisaragi was Kurokawa. Of course, we had to come to that conclusion, but what is this indescribable feeling? No, it shouldn't be like this. Something like this should not have happened. Now, shall we go straight away with the punishment time? What? No, wait a minute. Aren't you in a hurry? At least give us a little time to talk. No, 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 no. Now then, I've prepared a special punishment for Mikako Kurokawa, the ultimate exorcist. I'm waiting for Kinjo to, like, storm in at the very last minute and be like, Wait, I found some information. Don't I get to vote as well? Wait, it's Maida son Maida kun said, you're in too much of a hurry. Didn't you give us more time like in previous trials? Oh, I did. I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, the culprit has been determined. So I'm just trying to execute them. Well, there's something I don't understand. What's with the time out? Can we send away Kurokawa like this? Kurokawa killed Kisaragi. Perhaps this is true. Because Monokuma admitted it was the correct answer. However, something strange. After the character Yamato Kisaragi appeared, something's obviously been twisted in this murder. Class trial? Monokuma? Kurokawa? Everything's twisted like a toothed cog. This is the way it ends. If we let Kurokawa go without saying anything... Wait a minute. Eh? Makako Kurokawa, calm down and answer me. What is your identity? Tell us what you know. Reichan? For this moment, I don't give a damn if you're a murderer or anything. You obviously know something. You've been avoiding us all along, saying you can't tell us, but are you really satisfied with that? Would you really be satisfied if you died doing nothing like this? When you drove Maeda like a rapid-fire gun, you had guts. I mean, say it like it that this time. Don't you guys like that too? If this woman dies like this, we might miss the chance to know the truth for the rest of our lives. Makaru. Without knowing anything in my life, I don't even know why we have to do this. We're going to stay here forever. I hate that. Kurokawa, I ask you for, as well. Please, if you know something, can you please tell us? Mikako-chan. I'm afraid it's no use anyway, because Miss Kurokawa can't say anything. What? I mean, literally, so don't exhaust yourself, and let's get to punishment time quickly now. W wait Mikako Kurokawa. No, Mikako, we all know things have gotten weird, including you, since we left the ballroom. Whether you knew it, whether you committed murder, even if you're the mastermind, hope was handed to you by Satsuki. That's why, if you believe in hope, please tell me, I'm begging you. Oh boy, what the people say, can't you understand the bear? It's no use. I... I... Ugh. mikako -chan. Whoa, no matter. Just give up and take the penalty already. No. I want to say... Oh, Mikako. Uh, wait a minute. I wanted to tell you everything I knew, but I couldn't. I wanted to tell you, but it was too much. But now I'm going to go beyond life and death to pass it on to you guys. I'll tell you, no matter what happens to me. If... It ends like this. If I die without telling you anything, then I won't be able to face Yamatoni. Kuh. Mikako, you... Miss Kurokawa, that's really dangerous. Are you willing to die? Then I won't be able to punish you. I can't say the details, but you said I could die here, right? Thanks to Yuki and everyone. Listen, this is a trap of the mastermind. I... I believe in you guys. It wasn't a long time, but you guys became my friends. Believe in yourself. God believes in the hope you have in yourself. Hope. Hope never falls to despair. <clears throat> oh, shit! Did she just... She just died? Like, she had something in her body, too, that, like, just blew up? Is that, like, what happened to Yamato? Maybe he had something in him, 
And it was that bomb that blew up. Like, if he tried to say something, and maybe he just died that way. It was just a moment. Hikako, who didn't speak softly and slowly as usual, suddenly changed and didn't appear to be like she was when she accused me of being the culprit. As if it was a reaction to the limit release, I heard a sound, a splat, coming from her head. She literally fell apart. I bet that's what happened to Yamato as well. Makaru. I have to tell you about it. The mastermind has been with us in all our events. That's the key. Is it me? Am I the mastermind? Well, at least she went out giving us that instead of just being executed. So literally, she's just being silenced. Mikako-chan? This girl has died. What? Mikako is dead? I knew, since Kurokawa was the culprit who killed Kisaragi, the execution was definitive, and we knew she was going to die soon, but before being executed, the more she spoke, the more she collapsed, and then she dies? It was clearly strange for anyone to see. The beginning, or at the beginning of this case itself, the class trial itself felt very strange, but more importantly, in the end, I couldn't hear anything from Kurokawa, and she left us. Foo hoo hoo. Ha ha ha. You really are a stupid woman. You cut off your own lifeline. And one time, I really was wanted to know what was going on, but she ended up stopping at the final part. I feel sorry for you guys. Well, to be honest, even if she does say it, it doesn't concern me much. This woman, Mikako, said at the end, the mastermind is in our group. Mikako, as I expected. No, maybe not. She may have known a lot more than us. Matakuma? Who the hell was Kurokawa? The Kisaragi Foundation. What the hell is the truth? There's no way Matakuma can tell you that. And what's more certain now is, in the end, Kisaragi and Kurokawa, who may have held the key to our situation in the end, means they left without hearing anything. Then... Kurokawa's identity, the identity of the Mastermind, the identity of the Kisaraki Foundation has not been fully uncovered. Even the truth behind this murder. We're only facing the consequences of an empty shell. Damn it. Yes, we remain unconvinced. Process disappeared. Only results remained. Anyway, I gave you a short break, but, well, shall we start now? My heart is pounding, and loudly. Punishment time! Wait, what? What's wrong? It's punishment time. What does that mean? Kurokawa's already dead. Why does that matter? Whether you live or die, you've disturbed the order, and you should be punished. Punishment is not just a punishment, it's called an example. Can you stop? You'll blasphemy even the dead? No, this is a rule. You guys have seen Miss Kurokawa's atrocities, didn't you? She was a villain who tried to survive by overturning the sins of the innocent and good boy Maidakun, that wicked woman. I know, I know Kurokawa was the culprit, and she even yelled at me harshly, but something is strange about this class trial. Monokuma's words and actions are strange. Kurokawa said at the end, this was a trap by the mastermind. As Maeda said, this case is very strange. Monokuma, in our eyes, it looks like you are anxious to kill Mikako. Huh? And when he introduced Kisaragi-kun, Mikako-chan collapsed to bleeding. Monokuma didn't even try to help. You don't mean all of this was a conspiracy? Huh? Well, whatever the case, Miss Kurokawa killed Kisaragi-kun and became the Blackened. It's my job as the headmaster to punish the Blackened. Therefore, the Blackened disrupted the order. I prepared a special punishment for the ultimate exorcist, Mikaka Kurokawa. Wait, Monokuma, stop talking. Now then, let's give it everything we've got. They're already dead and in a corpse state. They're not in the best shape, but... Monokuma, answer the question. Let's go hard anyway. Punishment time. Monokuma! Didn't that happen at one of the Danganronpa uh, executions where the person was already dead? And he killed them anyway? <laughs> I may be mistaken on that.
Now at least she won't feel any of this. Runaway train, ghost rider. Wait, what? So, okay. What? A power outage. Wait, I can't see anything. What happened to Mikako-chan? Hey, Monokuma, what happened? Hey, don't pretend you can't hear me. Answer. Mikaro? What is this? He just stopped. What? By the way, didn't something like this happen during a class trial not long ago too? Makako-chan said that if Monokuma stops operating, all the fa uh, all the facilities will stop too. But there wasn't a proper outage- or bleh, There wasn't a power outage back then, was there? What in the world happened? In the end, there's something strange about this case. Just like the blackout right now, I don't think this is normal. Just what the hell is happening? Kasaragi's appearance, Kurokawa's murder case, a power failure, Monokuma stopping. I don't know what's going on, but it's definitely strange. Everything seems to be a back and forth contradiction. Monokuma doesn't seem to wake up. What should we do? You guys! Hey, there he is. He's like, did I miss anything? I just arrived. It's already too late? Kinjo? You... how do you... What the hell are you? <laughs> how can you move? Kinjo-kun. We'll talk more later. We can't afford that now. Yuki, Makaru, Teruya, and you. You. Is that what you say after waking up putting on a suicide show like that? Do you have anything else to say? Makaru, where is Kisaragi and Kurokawa? Uh, huh? Suddenly, why? Wait, Kisaragi's portrait is there. Is that so? They're both dead. Kinsho, what the hell happened? How'd you wake up? What's the situation? As I just said, we'll do that later. To put things very simply... I remember everything. I came here to save you guys. You remember? Oh shit, so like by shooting himself in the head, did he like accidentally awaken his memories? You don't mean... You're pretty well alive, but it seems it's... Uh, it seems it's over yet to turn things around. I will protect you from the heinous mastermind. Was he the one who turned off the power somehow? What are you doing putting us here? You guys are being de- Akane? <gasps> Akane, why- You guys are being deceived. We have to get away from that girl right now. What? <gasps> what? Eh? Huh? Kinjo, what's wrong? That girl is- What is happening? It's that girl. The one who kept the 15 of us imprisoned. Make us stay here. The criminal who made this murder game. The mastermind of everything. Akane type. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? No! Does she remember this, or is she just really good at playing dumb? What are you talking about, Kinjo-kun? Don't call me uh, my name with that dirty mouth. Kya! Akane? Is the mastermind behind everything? 
Wait a minute, Kinjo. Are you misunderstanding something? Yuki's right. There's no way Akane could be the mastermind. No, it's you, not me, who's misunderstood. Well, it's not unreasonable, after all. You did that to us. But that's why I'll definitely protect you guys from this heinous criminal. Kinjo, why are you doing this? Is it because of me stabbing Kazuna-chan? If that's the case, there's nothing I can do to uh, agree with you, but still, to call me a mastermind. Kizuna? That's pretty cute, compared to what you did. Kinjo? What are you saying? I have no idea what Kinjo's saying. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Are you going to keep going? Fine then, but can you still do that after hearing this? Ultimate despair? <gasps> ultimate- wait, so Akane, is she the ultimate despair in this game, or is she secretly, um... Junko, despair? Huh, Akane? Uh... Oh, shit. Does she just not remember? She doesn't remember being the ultimate despair? Whoa. It was a cry like a beast. After panicking and denying Kinjo for a while, she suddenly began to grab her head, screaming like something out of this world. Whoa. Her screams were growing louder. More, more. It's like the end of Danganronpa 2 where we realize the truth. It was a terrifying scream. Oh, sh- Woo! That's a lot to take in. Despair has changed. Whoa. Is oh! Okay, okay. Ah, it's refreshing. It feels like something that has been blocked was just opened. There's no problem with my memory, just as that person said. I think it was very successful. Must have been hellish days to breathe without thinking of that person. I'm really sorry, Akane Tyro. Huh? You? Who are you? It... Is this gonna be Junko right now? Oh my, who am I? This is Akane Taira. Whoopsie, is this our first time meeting? Then I should give you a formal greeting. The ultimate maid. No wait, that's a mistake. This is the ultimate despair, Akane Taira. Okay, I guess she is. I guess they can't have a copyrighted character in this game. Please take good care of me, Maeda-sama, Kinjo-sama, Makaru-sama, Atori-sama. Oh shit. There's a lot to take in right now. Uh, wait a minute. Am I the only one who can't keep up with this situation? You, Akane Tyra? Akane? The mastermind? We didn't know each other, uh, other than just yesterday, but this morning we were together for a very short time. But I can tell. I know that maeda is a good person. Only from maeda -kun. I didn't want to hear that from maeda -kun. Actually, I want to apologize sooner. I'm sorry. The reason I asked you to dance is because I thought we could be able to talk like this. I'm really sorry. maeda -kun, keep your mind up. Calm down and look into my eyes. You didn't do anything wrong. That Akane was the mastermind of everything? Ah, it looks like the power's returned. Is the spare power turned on? Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna die. Hey, hey, hey! Suddenly, the bear house was thrown down. I don't like this facility at all. Monokuma? Monokuma, it's been a long time. Eh? Monokuma? It's been a long time? What's the sound? Yeah? Miss Tyra, surely not. You've returned? I sure did. You've been through a lot. It's just her mannerisms are very Junko-ish. What is the situation? This, this isn't a dream, is it? It's not a dream. Monokuma's moving separately in the subject of the Mastermind. You've revealed your true colors. This time, I will definitely protect everyone. Well, look at that. Kinjo was right about Akane the whole time. Oh my, Kinjo-sama, now isn't the time to say that. Since I woke up, the killing school life is no more. Asking Monokuma to, to dispose of each one of you is a breeze. Dispose? Is what I'd like to say, but that wouldn't be much fun, would it? Besides, I still have an appointment with a certain person. So, I'll give you a chance to stand in the final stage. A wonderful stage to decorate the final- or the finale.
All right, well, I guess we're gonna maybe have a final class trial after all. The situation in front of the eyes is incomprehensible, unfolding at the same speed of light. I just stood idly by, Akane, looking at the person who was Akane Taira. I've become frozen. Damn. It was like, it's funny, it, like, it's the way it's supposed to be with this class trial, it felt very, like, rushed and unsatisfying. Because that's the way the characters feel about that as well. But that reveal, though, what? So few of us, look at us, oh my gosh. Special shoutouts to my top tier patrons. Emily Hornsby, Lady of Eternity, Jared Fan, Revealing Storm. Asborn Kennedy, Icognito, Harry Gazif, Zorin Ether, Cardboard, and Shadow Dragon. <laughs>